Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a keyboard replacement on a Dell Inspiron laptop. Here, I'll be testing out some of the keys. As you can see that my Q, W, E, R, they are not working. U, I, O, P, they're not working. And some of the keys are working, but some of them are not. Unfortunately for this model, you're not able to just replace the key itself you would have to replace the full assembly keyboard and that is what i'm going to do in this repair all right let's go ahead and get started let me go ahead and shut down the computer once the computer is shut down i'd like to identify the model here with you if you take a look at the back of your computer you should be able to identify this is the p126g model this is a Dell Inspiron P126G. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. This is the 1.5 millimeter. We need to remove the screws here in the back to get into the laptop. Keep that in mind, the screw here on the top right corner, it doesn't come off when you unscrew it and you hear that little clicking sound and you should stop at that point there are four screws here at the bottom remove the all four screws one screw here on the side And the screw here on the top left corner, again, it doesn't come off. When you hear that little clicking sound, that means you have reached to the max. The same goes to the top in the middle. All right. So once that screw, you unscrew, it gives you a leverage where you can stick in your plastic prying tool to go ahead and separate the back cover. All right, once you've removed the entire back cover, you can see the internal part of your computer. Okay, so this is the battery. And what I like to do is to go ahead and disconnect the battery first. There's a little tape that's taping down the connector. So let's go ahead and peel that tape back. We can get right into the connector and disconnect the battery. And then just slide the connector down towards your body. So slide it down. Get a Phillips screwdriver. This is the uh, Phillips one. I'll be removing the screws here. There are four screws in total holding down the battery. Once you have removed that, then you can remove the battery. If you guys are interested to know way to find a battery replacement that is the model JK6Y6 here's the CMOS for those of you who are interested how to reset the BIOS that's your CMOS battery and here is your M.2 SSD drive let's go ahead and remove that screw And then the bracket will just slide off. This is the mini version of the hard drive. Remove the screw, slide it down towards your body. That is the hard drive 512 M.2. All right, let's go ahead and remove three screws and that three screws are holding down the hinge on your top right corner
So pretty much what we need to do is to remove the entire motherboard and the hinge to get into the keyboard. All right, here comes that little DC jack connector for your power. We need to peel that little tape backwards. You want you can give it a little cut because I think the tape is taping down to the other side of the uh, the tape here. So this is the DC jack. I like to peel the tape back and then push that connector to my right to disconnect that little DC jack right there. Okay. This is your LCD screen connector. There's a little clipper here. Go ahead and flip the clipper open. And you can slide that connector away from your body to remove it. That is the USB-C connector. They have two screw holding down to the bracket. You need to remove that two screw. And then remove the bracket as well. This is your Wi-Fi. Remove that one screw. Remove the bracket. The white cable is at the bottom. The black cable is on the top. The connector just sits on top of each other. You just have to lift it up and then slide that Wi-Fi cable to your left to remove it. And just kind of expose that cable downwards. This is your speaker connector. Slide it down towards your body. This is your CPU fan connector. Slide it down. Take a chance to clean the CPU fan since we have gotten into the computer. So there are two screws, I believe. Or is it more than two? Two screws holding down the CPU fan. And you can look at all this dirty little stuff here. And throw it away. Remove the two screws. That two screws is holding down the left side of the hinge. Lift the hinge back. Technically, we just removed the full keyboard here. I mean the full assembly. Detach the LCD screen. Here is the connector. I will prefer to remove it on, technically you need to remove everything. So, uh, what I need is this product number to get into the keyboard. Since I already made the video, I must well just finish it up. Okay, I removed the screw here. That is for your motherboard. Let's start disconnecting all the cables. Peel that clipper, open up the clipper and slide that connector to your left to remove it. There's another screw here, which is holding down the motherboard. And then let's start removing the trackpad. Keyboard lighting. keyboard and the entire motherboard would just come right off put that on the side and that is the full keyboard assembly as you can see it's one piece all together like so so you need to buy the full assembly keyboard okay and then when a the keyboard comes in, all you have to do is transfer the I.O. board. If you have it here, that USB, some of them come with it, some of them they don't. And pretty much it, leave the trackpad on, the speaker, hopefully that comes with it. All you have to do is the reverse process by installing the motherboard and then getting all back together. So where do I find a replacement keyboard? I would say... Uh, try to look for this one here 
it says PK132K. Um, if you can see it, uh, PK132K D3A00. Um, what I'm going to do is I will list all the tools and the keyboard replacement, the battery replacement, uh, the RAM if you prefer to upgrade down in the description below if you want to upgrade additional DDR4 RAM in your laptop you can do so by putting on a secondary slot here and this is the first slot okay and again uh, if you do find the video is helpful all I'm asking is just a, a little like and if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and if you I really appreciate if you show appreciation uh, by giving super thanks uh, there is a super thanks down in youtube where you can do donation or appreciation if you want to do that i would be really appreciate you for doing so all right thanks for watching i appreciate that and until next time take care and bye now